guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Danny. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing another Aldi grocery haul with you guys. So if you saw last week's video, then you remember that I mentioned that I'm trying to stick to $200 a week grocery budget and that includes like toiletries, um, soaps, any other little things like that. It's $200 total for a week. So like I said, I decided to go to Aldi this week because I had such a great success last week sticking to my budget by going there. So in total this week at Aldi specifically, I spent $106, which is really great because I got pretty much everything and they had everything this week that I needed. And then I did spend $15 on some strawberries, which I'm going to show you guys towards the end of the video. So in total, I spent a little over $106. $20 for the week but keep in mind that my kids are home from spring break or for spring break this week from school so that includes breakfast lunch dinner snacks for all of us a family of five but anyways I'm not gonna make this intro too long and I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it all right guys so this is everything as a whole everything that I got from Aldi for this week just real quick but that is how much I ended up spending at Aldi 106 and 42 cents but there is one um, big item in here that I ended up spending $15 on, which I'll get to closer to the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and start back here with the meats. I did end up picking up this smaller pack of chicken breast. This is a little over a pound and it was $3.79 a pound and that is how much I paid for it total. So this is gonna be for a specific dinner that I have this week, a pasta dinner, but this, um, I might even have leftover of this because I really don't need that much chicken for it. I'm also gonna add bacon and other stuff. So um, either I'll have a lot of leftover food for that or a piece of leftover chicken, but we'll see. Then another pack of chicken that I ended up getting were once again the chicken drumsticks and there's that. It was $5.48 total, $1.29 a pound. So that is all the meat that I got this week. I do have um, a couple of packs of meat that I'm going to use. So when you're trying to stay on a budget, obviously what I try and do is shop my own house first. So I go through my freezers and my pantry and kind of anything that was left over from the previous week and I try and roll it over and that's how I'm able to save a lot of money on groceries. Then I picked up this bag of just regular spinach. We can use that for like smoothies, um, really anything. So I got that and I was gonna get the white onions that I always get, but these were on sale, the yellow onions. So for me, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So they were cheaper and I ended up getting those this week. I got a lot of um, bell peppers because I can't remember, but I know I need a green bell pepper for a recipe this week and then I needed some tricolor ones and there's no green one in this one so I thought worst case scenario if we don't go through it I can just chop it up put it in a ziploc bag and I can just freeze it so we do use a lot of bell pepper I have a feeling we will go through all of this anyway this week and I picked up some more jalapenos this week um, that's probably something that I'll always be picking up it's kind of a staple in this house either making like I said homemade salsa chopping it up doing Mexican style eggs um, but I got that and another staple is some um, cilantro. I'm completely out of that. So I picked that up. The kids are home from school this week. So they're eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks here at home. And I'm really trying to get them to try eating more vegetables. So they do like cucumbers and I ended up getting these little mini cucumbers to serve with their lunches here at home. And then I got two bags of the Roma tomatoes. Once again, the Roma tomatoes are cheapest. They're at Aldi compared to the other um, types of tomatoes that they have. So I did need a lot for a lot of different things this week. So I just ended up picking up two bags of those. Then I picked up some of this shredded Parmesan cheese. And this is for that pasta recipe. But I also am planning on making chicken Caesar wraps for my lunches this week. And I like to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese in those. So that'll be for lunches and for one dinner. And I'm also out of Greek yogurt, which I like to put in smoothies. And then the kids just like to have that with fruit and stuff. So I picked that up. This week I picked up another pack of just these really cheap hot dogs. Um, we, the kids love hot dogs so much. So, and that's easy for, a, again, like a lunch or if I make a dinner that they don't like, then I can just make them a hot dog really quick, really easy. And over here, I got some white mushrooms. I just got the whole ones because it was slightly cheaper to get them whole like this. And I don't mind um, slicing them up myself. So I'm just trying to save every little bit that I can. So I got the whole mushrooms. Then I picked up two, um, I think they're called hands of bananas. So I got two little bunches of bananas. And that's because, again, the kids are at home this week. So I feel like 
I just need all of the snacks and hopefully like they will lean more towards healthier snacks this week. So I ended up getting two bunches of bananas. Then I picked up two of these really easy um, pizzas. Once again, the kids are home. So I need to like have a couple of easy lunches if we are um, like going to the park and we're just trying to eat something quick, but I don't want to be eating out all the time with them. So it's really easy just to put one of these in the oven before or after the park. So I got this one. They just recently started liking sausage. So um, I got this pepperoni and sausage one, the meat lovers. And then I also got a cheese pizza because my um, three-year-old prefers just plain cheese pizza. Then I picked up some almond milk. This is what I use for my oatmeal. And then I am trying to see if my three-year-old um, will start trying almond milk. She still drinks um, just regular cow's milk. And that is one thing that I did have to restock on uh, last week. So I did have to go to the store just to get a gallon of milk. But other than that, um, all of the groceries I bought last week got us through the week. But anyways, I got this unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then I got some more coffee creamer for my husband. He did end up liking this French vanilla coffee creamer from Aldi. So I got him another one of those. And for the pasta recipe, I did end up needing, um, ended up picking up some heavy whipping cream because I need that. I'm obviously not going to use all of this for that recipe, um, but I'll have to check the expiration date. Yeah, so we should be good with that. But um, we're gonna try and use this up. Maybe I might roll this over into the next week for another recipe, but I ended up getting that. And I wasn't sure, it was like four or something. I wasn't sure if that was cheaper than at Walmart or if Walmart was cheaper, but I ended up looking it up and it did end up being cheaper here at Aldi, so I got it from there. And then another easy snack for the kids, I got them these Moo tubes, just yogurt tubes, and it has cotton candy flavor and melon berry flavor. There are eight tubes in there and I ended up getting two boxes of that. So that'll be another really easy snack for them. This week, um, as far as like pastries and stuff like that, I ended up picking up this, which I think we tried a long time ago from Aldi and it's just cheese Danish. I think they had another flavor too. I don't know if it was like strawberry or something like that, um, but we did really like this in the past. And again, my husband likes to have some kind of like pastry like this in the morning with his coffee. So I know that he likes this, so I ended up picking that up. I also picked up two dozen eggs. Hopefully this will get us through the week. Um, last week we did pretty good with the two dozen eggs, so um, I have to look. The kids are home and I know that they like eggs for breakfast. I do have some breakfast sausage in the freezer, so that might be an easy breakfast for the kids this week. So I got two of those. Then I picked up some of these flour tortillas, um, another lunch idea for the kids um, now that they're home. I'm gonna make some, just some basic chicken and cheese quesadillas. And also my husband likes, sometimes he'll go between like a pastry like that and then coffee, or sometimes he will have like a breakfast burrito. So um, I might see if I can make just a few of those and maybe put them in the freezer or the refrigerator so that he can just pop that in the microwave as another easy breakfast. Then I picked up just some of this um, honey smoked turkey breast. It's one a one pound bag. Again, the kids for lunches, really easy, really quick. So I got that for them. And then another snack is just some of this mozzarella string cheese. And for the quesadillas, I decided on this kind of shredded cheese, the Mexican style. So hopefully they'll like that. I'm pretty sure they will. Um, they don't eat quesadillas for lunch too often, but I wanted to see if I can kind of switch it up and try new things with them. They went through these really quickly last week whenever I got them. These are just um, the strawberry apple sauces. So I got another pack, it's pretty cheap. So I thought once again, a really easy and quick snack. Like I mentioned last week, my three-year-old loves these cereal bars. I think I got her the mixed berry ones last time and she has just a couple left. So this week I ended up trying or I'm gonna have her try the strawberry flavored ones. So I got her those just to make sure that she doesn't run out. For that pasta recipe, I needed some penne pasta. So thankfully Aldi had it because they don't always have um, every kind of pasta that you need, but I was happy when I saw that they had that. And this week um, I decided to go ahead and get the hot dog buns. Last week I got the hot dogs and I we just did it old school, like I said, with that kind of bread. Um, but this week I decided just to go ahead and get them hot dog buns so that I can try and stretch this out for other things like sandwiches. 
so I got those. And then I picked up some of these um, corn tortillas. They had like the white kind of corn tortillas and then the yellow ones. I'm not really sure if it makes a big difference, but I thought that these looked pretty good. So I just got these and there's 30 in there. Like I said, I got another loaf of the honey wheat bread for sandwiches, toast in the morning, just something really easy. And it's pretty much a staple in the South. Back here in the back, I got some of this Texas toast, the five cheese. Whenever I get toasts like this, um, which is not too often, I don't really get the one that has cheese on it, but this is the one, the only one that they had. Hopefully the kids will still like that though. You know how kids are as far as trying things that are different, um, but they like cheese. So I'm hoping that they'll eat that. This week I ended up getting the same kind of chips that I got last week. So they still had the Doritos brand nacho cheese Doritos there. So I got a bag of that. And then the kids really did like um, this brand in the wavy potato chips. So I was really happy about that. And, and I ended up getting another bag. If you saw my grocery haul last week from Aldi, we tried the, um, it was like a knockoff Coke brand. Um, it was okay, um, but it tasted almost like a little bit more flat than regular Coke. So um, I'm not sure if I'll be buying that again, but this is kind of like the same concept. This is more of like a brand that Aldi carries, I guess. And I kind of, I don't know, like a knockoff Sprite. So I decided, even though we didn't like those other ones too much, I mean, they were okay um, and we drank them, but I decided to give this one a try. If we like this one, maybe I'll start getting this one. Um, hopefully we do. Like I said, it's mostly for my husband and his brother when they're eating dinner here. And then just in case they're not too big uh, fans on this, then I did see that they had these little Fanta minis. So, um, We'll have plenty, plenty of little sodas for them to choose from. And then the last thing that is actually not from Aldi, uh, my husband ended up coming home from work today and he had this with him. So I'm not sure if in other states you guys um, have like vendors um, that basically sell like produce on the side of the road. Um, here in Florida, in our town, we have a lot of people who sell produce um, like that on the on the side of the road. And so he told me that he got this entire um, flat for, I think it was $15. Now this side here, it looks a little bit more empty than that side. It was really full, but the kids have seriously been going, going to town on this. It, that was a couple of hours ago before I went grocery shopping for all of this. So when I was gone, they were going through a lot of these strawberries here, but I thought that that was a pretty good deal. So with the 106 from Aldi and then the 15, it's just a little over $120 which is still really good for this grocery haul. All right, so that is everything that I got from Aldi with the exception of the strawberries. And I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything away. But first I'll go ahead real quick and show you guys the meal plan for this week. Anyways, getting into the meal plan. So today is actually Tuesday. So yesterday I had put hubby is cooking because he had offered, he got home from work early. So he had offered to cook. But then his cousin ended up calling us and um, they invited us for dinner at their house. So that saved him and it also saved me from not having to cook. So that was really nice. We ended up eating out um, at their house. And then this week, last week I had put the pollo guisado, which is basically like the chicken, potatoes, carrots, and like a homemade sauce. And we loved that so much, like everybody loved it that I decided to go ahead and roll it over into this week too. So that is for um, Tuesday, and then that does give us leftovers, so that is great. We are gonna end up having leftovers for Wednesday. And then the pasta that I was talking about, we're gonna have that on Thursday. It's a chicken and bacon pasta, which I believe I have shared on my channel before, a what's for dinner video. Um, if I'm able to link it, then I will link it down below in the description. For Friday, we're going to have flautas, which are basically like corn tortillas that I put shredded chicken in and onion, and then I roll them up I um, and I fry those. So those are the flautas. And then I'm going to serve that with rice and beans. And then for Saturday, I just put that we're eating out. And then for Sunday, uh, most Sundays we do like a soup like this week we're gonna do chicken and vegetable soup and the reason why I like to do that on Sunday is because I usually will go grocery shopping either Sunday evening or Monday um, although this week I ended up going on Tuesday but um, I like to do it on Sunday at the very end because then any leftover produce that I have I can just use that up and just throw it into the soup and I make sure that nothing was wasted as far as produce 
So that's why I like to really do um, soups like that so that I can use up the last little bit of produce before I go into a new week and start cooking um, with new ingredients. So for breakfast this week and lunches, like I said, the kids are gonna be home. So there's just a few more extra things that I put on here, more options. But same as last week, I'm gonna do oatmeal and the egg scramble. And I also added breakfast burritos on there, eggs, toast, and sausage. Like I said, I have sausage in the freezer, so that works out perfectly. And then for lunches, um, I'm gonna be having the chicken Caesar salad wrap. And then just a few options for the kids. I have quesadillas on the menu, sandwiches, whether it's peanut butter jelly, uh, Nutella, or turkey sandwiches. And then I also have some pasta and marinara sauce still. I had stocked up on that um, a few weeks ago, so I have that in there as another option. And then the, again, this is just a simple shopping list. I did add more things to this and I took off a couple of things. So anyways, that is everything for the menu this week.